What's happening guys? This is James Blunt, MMOHot.com. I'm here with the executive producer of Infinite Crisis. We're checking out the game. We're at E3. Tell us a little bit about what's going on here at the booth and what do you got to show us? Yep, so uh, what we're doing here today is we've got the uh, first map that we actually started our beta with, which is called Gotham Heights. And we've got a competition going sort of throughout the show. Uh, we've got people lining up to come play five on five matches here in our game. And we've also got uh, some pro players coming out, the pro teams coming out playing. I think we have about eight tournaments or eight games during the course of E3. They're coming out playing against each other. We're streaming that live online. Um, we're here today also to talk about the next map. We have a new game mode map that's going to be coming out uh, later in beta, later this summer, called Coast City. And, uh, and people that have been following the game know that you know, one of the things we've added to the genre is this idea of a destructible environment. So we've got maps that could be destroyed. We figured we should take that to the next level. So Coast City is uh, actually it's a part of the DC universe. Coast City is uh, where the Green Lanterns call home. Ah, okay. It's also a place that's been destroyed a couple times before, so it felt like a good setting for <laughs> for yeah. our game. So it's a, sort of like a coastal beach town. Um, and the gameplay actually is very much like expected traditional classical MOBA. We've got a two-lane map, push down the lanes, but there's a gigantic doomsday device right in the middle of the map mm. that at certain intervals throughout the gameplay becomes available. You can team fight and take control of that. And if you have control of it, you get one shot, you basically have to target anywhere in the map and basically call down this giant, you know, laser cannon from space. Nice. Uh, it's, it has a lot of really cool dimensions to the game. Very nice, very nice. So one question I had is uh, recently there was a uh, uh, you signed a contract with uh, MLG, or is it working in, in uh, cooperation with them yep. uh, to get Infinite Crisis into eSports. Yep. How is one able to do that so early in the process of this game? The game's in, in closed beta right now. Like, How yep. are you all able to do that? Well, first of all, uh, being able to partner with MLG is awesome. It's yes. like just the perfect partner for us. Great, Great timing. We're really excited about it. Um, they really know the eSports space. Um, the game is, at, at its fundamental core, com competition, competitive. So it's really... No time is too early. You know, we've been working on it for a while. We feel like it's really fun to play, very competitive right now. We have a lot of balancing to do, obviously. We feel like working with players who aren't esports players as well as esports players is going to help us tune it even better. So by having pro players involved as early as possible, people like MLG who really know the space, you know, we feel like we're going to come up with the best possible gameplay that we can come up with. First thing I thought whenever I saw, you know, teaming up with MLG is, is, is uh, wow, they're going to really have to get on the balancing just because, you, oh, know, yeah. you know, you're going for competition right off the bat. Yep. But, uh, so, speaking of which, what, what really goes in some of the champions? Like, what, what sort of, uh, uh, how, how do you, how does one determine what, you know, let's say, Nightmare Batman is going to uh -huh. be like, or, uh, you know... I see where you're... That's yeah. really interesting. We use uh, him as an example, actually. Um, so first thing we do is we look at the characters themselves. What's great about DC, for a MOBA in general, or for any game, really, is that we all know what Batman is. We all know what Superman is. So when I sit down and play Batman, Superman, I kind of know what my expectations are, right? Batman is really two things more than anything. You know, he's like that sort of dark marauder in the shadows. And he's also the world's greatest detective. So what we do for each character is we figure out what are the key things that make Batman, Batman, Superman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman. And we zero in on one of those aspects. In this case, you know, the, the dark marauder in the shadows, well, let's make him a vampire. He right. already exists in the lore. Yep. He's really going to focus on sort of being that, that urban, you know, marauder in, in the shadows. And we really double down on that. And that becomes sort of what his power set is. But he's still Batman. He still feels like Batman. Very it's nice. really the same approach for all the characters. So it seems like at least each character has three different alterations of itself. Is that kind of a theme? Are you going for more? Or are you going for... Some will have more, some will have less. You know, it's just for, for coming out into the market and sort of explaining our game, we thought it was really useful to, to focus on three at a time, you know, because show the kind of depth, but also the breadth of DC. We didn't want to just focus on... I mean, ultimately, you could have five, six, seven multiverse variants. There's there's 52 Earths in the DC multiverse, um, so the uh, possibilities are endless, but we really want to focus on the core characters people know and love. So one thing I was trying to curious about is is how how is the cash shop working work in this game here? How how does uh, you know, I mean, it doesn't make sense for Nightmare Batman to have skins. Mm -hmm. You know, you would just play as his al alternate egos. But how does that how is that actually going to come into play? Well, we're not talking uh, in great detail about how the monetization is working, but obviously it's a free to play game. There will be a store um, skins. Absolutely, we're going to have skins for all the characters. Okay. So even even a multiverse variant can have a skin. You could put Nightmare Batman in a tutu if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, you can. Okay. <laughs> that works. For the right reason. Maybe. Sure, sure. Yeah, no, absolutely. We all like it that. It kind of goes on and on and on in terms of possibilities. So. Excellent, excellent.
Well, is there anything else you have for us? Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely Coast City is something people should be looking out for. We think it's going to be the, the map bow that really demonstrates what's special about our game. So that's coming out, like I said, sometime this summer. And uh, the other stuff I can talk about a little bit is Stolen Towers. We're talking ah, about okay. the store, but also just the things that make the characters different from each other. We wanted to make sure that by choosing one character or another, you're not stuck for good into what that character can and cannot do. So super strength is cool, especially in this game, because it means you can pick up a car and throw it at somebody. And who doesn't want to do that? Right? So, but if I'm playing the Joker, super strength is not something I would naturally have. Right. But their power sets called stolen powers, you can pick two of them before every match, and then you can actually apply them to your character. Over time, you'll be able to collect them. And even if I'm playing Joker, I can use super strength if I want to, to have that capability for a short while. So, right. Got to manipulate the attributes, so to yeah. speak. And then, just really for eSports, especially from a spectator point of view, because of all the destruction, because of things like the Doomsday device, and all the things you can do strategically beyond just pushing down the lanes, there's a lot to watch, there's a lot to take in, it's very exciting to watch gameplay, so... It makes perfect sense. Too. Well, I appreciate you having us. Thanks a lot. The game looks great, excited to check it out. Thank you. Thanks. Come on in, we'll, we'll teach you how to play.